Hello and welcome to the second video on Big O Notation. In this video, we're going to look at a few different exam questions from 2016 and 2017 papers. And in this first question, we're given an algorithm that calculates the product of two square matrices A and B. Both matrices have dimensions n by n, where n is the number of rows and columns in each matrix. The first question asks us to determine how many multiplication calculations will be carried out when n is equal to 10 and 100. So you get one mark for this question. And the first thing we've got to do is look at what does it mean by multiplication calculations? Well, if you look at the pseudocode given, I can only spot one part of the algorithm that actually carries out multiplication and that's when we times a i k by b k and j so there's only one instance where multiplication occurs now when will that multiplication get carried out if i say for my i loop it will loop for i equals 1 to 10 that'll loop 10 times if i say for my j loop for j equals 1 to 10 that will also loop 10 times, but multiplied by the previous 10 times of the i loop. So as i loops 10 times, j will loop 10 times for each one of those 10 times that i is looping. Then I look at my k loop. The k loop will also loop 10 times. So anything that happens inside the k loop will loop 10 to the power of 3 times. So for my multiplication, it will be 10 times 10 times 10 times that is carried out. I hope that makes sense on this occasion. The only thing you've got to look for is different iteration that's going on in the algorithm. These loops are nested inside each other. And if you can get your head around nested loops, then you should be absolutely fine answering the rest of this question. The next question asks us to evaluate the efficiency of the algorithm and using big O notation determine the growth rate for time performance. Your answer should refer to the addition and the multiplication calculations performed by this algorithm. So let's delve straight in. All I'm doing here is I'm pulling out the multiplication and I've noticed from my previous question that multiplication only occurs inside the K loop. I have an addition inside the K loop and also next K is an incrementation and that means K equals K plus one is my increment there. So because I have a plus there and a plus where I add my answer to A and B, that gives me two additions and one multiplication. I know that my I loop will loop n number of times. My J loop will loop n squared number of times because it's nested inside the I loop. And my K loop, as discussed in the previous question, will also loop n cubed times. Now I have four very distinct steps for dealing with questions like this. The first one is I will work out the loop iterations like I done on the left hand side. The second is I will work out the multiplication and the additions because that's what it asks for in the question. I've worked out that further below the question. And number three, I add them up together and I work out the big O notation. So once I've added these values together, I have three n cubed, that's addition and multiplications. I have one addition from the j loop where I increment j, so that gives me n squared. And I have one addition incrementing i, and that gives me n. So adding that all together, I've got three n cubed plus n squared plus n. Now that completes step three, 
Step four, we just need to work out the big O notation. This is quite a straightforward process as if I told you a value of N and increased that value of N, you would calculate that three N cubed would dominate that equation. And therefore, this equation is order of N cubed. Now make sure that you write the word dominate in your final answer. Don't just give us the big O. Explain what you've done. In the next question, it asks us to use big O notation and determine the growth rate of memory space used by this algorithm. Now, in the previous question, it asked us about time performance. This is asking us about memory space. So we need to think about what we're actually going to store in our algorithm and how efficient that is using big O notation. Now this algorithm will store three matrices, it says in the question, A, B and the answer. And that comes from the line inside the K loop. Everything after the assignment equal symbol is what we are going to calculate and store. So from what we've just discussed inside the K-loop, the algorithm will store three matrices, A, B, and the answer. Each matrix inside the matrices requires N by N, and that's denoted by answer IJ, A, IK, and B, KJ. And because we're told in the question that each matrix requires N by N, items, that means it's n squared. So in total, I have 3 by n by n, or 3 n squared. And as n increases in its size, it will dominate 3, because 3 is a constant and it will not change. So therefore, we can say that n squared will dominate this equation. So finally, its order of n squared. Now I understand that is very, very quick. And I'd recommend going back to the start of the video and reviewing what we've gone over. I'll leave this video quite short. In the next video, I'll look at the second question, which was an A-level paper, component one from 2017, that had another big O notation question inside it. So hopefully you'll join me in the next video and thanks again for watching.